This mushroom is called the Rishi mushroom. This is a, uh, not really, again, kind of like the turkey tail, not really a, an edible mushroom in the sense of being able to just cook it up and have it for lunch. Uh, but this is a medicinal mushroom, very prominently used in Asia and other parts of the world and also more and more here in the U.S. This uh, very, very solid mushroom. Um, well, let me break it off here. You can see it's polypore. This part is very solid. Now this mushroom grows from wood, not from the ground, and I know it looks like it was growing from the ground, but just like others, it's probably growing on wood that is under the ground. Probably the root system of this, this dead tree here. In fact, there are a couple more right down here. This one's quite a bit younger. When they're younger, a lot of times they have a tendency to have that that white lip. You can see the deep red there. And there's yet another one down here. I'm kind of buried a little more. That shiny, polished look to them. So this is really cool. I'm gonna take it home and we'll uh, talk a little bit more about the medicinal uses of it. Unfortunately, these are too far gone because they've gone squishy. But this is a nice crop of Rishi that I discovered too late. And hopefully next year, I'll be able to come back late summer and there'll be some new ones growing. Here I found one that is too old. Boy, I can't break it with one hand. There we go. Kind of going bad. Wish I would have got that a, a month ago. There's another small one over here. This is such an interesting mushroom, the Rusi mushroom. They, uh, they're very, like I said, they're very hard, very solid. Now, I can, I can take this and I can squish it in. I can make a depression, but it's still very solid on the inside, very, like a really tough leather right now. As they dry out, when they really get dry, they can, I mean, they can become hard as wood. And in fact, I, I read one testimonial of somebody who broke the blade on their blender trying to grind it up. But I just I think they're fascinating the way they, they have a completely, like it's like the stem is completely different. You know, it, it's, it's very, very hard, very solid, the stem. And then it turns into these white pores, tiny pore surface. You know, sometimes they can be much brighter red than this. Now these have just numerous medicinal benefits. Uh, they, they've been used supposedly in China for over 2,000 years. And there's ancient writings and ancient even hieroglyphs of, of the uses of this mushroom. Uh, it used to be called the, uh, the mushroom of immortality. So it was thought to prolong life. Uh, today, we know that it's full of antioxidants and it has cancer-treating properties. There's many clinical studies that have been done. I'm going to leave it to you to do most of the research on that stuff because there's so many sources online and there's so many things that I, I really, you know, wouldn't have the expertise to really explain them. What I'm going to do is just, I will read just a small excerpt from WebMD on some of the, some of the benefits. The Rishi mushroom is used for boosting the immune system, viral infections such as influenza, swine flu, and avian flu, lung conditions such as asthma and bronchitis, heart disease, and contributing conditions such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol, kidney disease, cancer, liver disease, it's also used for HIV, AIDS, altitude sickness, chronic fatigue syndrome, insomnia, stomach ulcers, poisoning, and herpes pain, 
Other uses includes, include reducing stress and preventing fatigue. There's many studies online you can do um, that go into a lot more depth. But I will put, if you're watching this, if you're finding this on the website, I'm going to put some resources below. If you're watching it on YouTube, um, go to the website, which is linked below, or at least uh, the address is given below. And I will have some links of some resources that you can do some further study. Uh, but they're just full of medicinal benefits. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've let these strips dry out, very dry. Uh, it's actually been a couple months that they've been they've been drying. And now I'm cutting them into much smaller pieces. You know, the more surface area that's exposed, the uh, the more of the nutrients and the benefits you'll get out of it. Some people will grind them into a powder. I don't think it's necessary to do that. In fact, you could even just, just throw the strips like this into hot water and, and boil them. And let them steep. You'd get plenty of nutrients out of it, but I just thought I would chop it into some chunks like this. So here I have one pint of chopped reishi mushroom. And there are a couple different ways to get the medicinal benefits out of this mushroom. Uh, the first would be a hot water extraction, or a tea. And what that does, that pulls out what are called polysaccharides. And polysaccharides are water soluble, so that's why the hot water extraction works to, to draw them out. Uh, but what they do, they have the immune boosting qualities and the anti-tumor and cancer fighting qualities. From this mushroom so you get that from making a, a tea a hot water tea <clears throat> and what you would do is boil them and, and let them simmer for about two hours at least uh, to really pull a, a good amount of those polysaccharides out um, but the other thing that they have in them are called triterpenoids triterpenoids have anti-inflammatory hypotensive and adaptogenic qualities to them but those can only be pulled out um, through an alcohol extraction. They are not water soluble. So what you can do, you can make an alcohol tincture by, by putting these in a very high proof uh, alcohol, such as 100 proof. I, I would suggest going at least 100 proof. Some go, go even higher. Um, you put them in and let them sit for about four to six weeks I suppose the longer you let it sit the, the more constituents it'll dry out um, and you want to shake it every day to kind of get it stirred up and get it you know activate it get it pulling more more uh, triterpenoids out and uh, but what you can do you can do what's called a double extraction you first do the alcohol extraction for four to six weeks then you would strain it, strain all your mushroom pieces out, and then you can take those same mushroom pieces and do a hot water extraction with them. And they that that will then pull out the uh, the polysaccharides, which don't come out with the alcohol. They only come out with water. And then what you could do is combine the two to make a double extraction to get the maximum health benefit out of your reishi mushroom. Now, I was going to go ahead and do this, but what I'm, I've decided to do is to post that on a separate video. So this is just the overview of the Rishi Mushroom video. I just figured I'd do a wrap-up. And I'm going to do a separate video uh, documenting my double extraction that I'm going to make with the alcohol and the water extraction. So for now, that is what I have on the Rishi Mushroom. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you find a way to uh, make this a part of your healthy living at some point. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.